This Sunday, the Rabbitohs head up the M1 to take on the high-flying Knights at a sold-out McDonald Jones Stadium. All eyes will be on the superstar number ones. Sunday ticket, 2 o'clock, it's the NRL match of the round, exclusive to Fox League. The Newcastle Knights up against the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And you know what that means, don't you? It's Kalen Ponga versus Latrell Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell! The Knights, hot to trot with six wins straight. The Rabbits, clinging on to eighth spot with the playoffs alarmingly close. Sunday ticket, two o'clock. See Kalen Ponga and Latrell Mitchell cut loose. Only on Fox League. The match of the round, the Knights taking on the Rabbitohs live and exclusive right here on Fox League. The Sunday ticket coverage starts at 1.40pm. What a game it's going to be. Uh, the Newcastle Knights are flying, trying to win seven games in a row. And the South Sydney Rabbitohs not flying, but just trying to find some form and get some momentum heading into the finals. What do we think about this one? Who would have thought six weeks ago that the Rabbitohs would be fighting to stay in the top eight, taking on the Knights who are above them on the ladder. Yeah. Mm. It's just been an incredible turnaround, but it kind of sums up the season. And and it will be a sellout up, up at Newcastle, and, and they're in mighty form, and the chances are Jackson Hastings is going to be OK to play. Meanwhile, you've got a Rabbitohs side who who knows what's gone wrong with them, but they're nowhere near the team that we thought they were going to be. Mm. Hey, uh, this is, isn't just a sellout, guys. This is the first sellout since 2012. Wow. Like, this is how big this game is. On, on Like, it's huge. And um, there's a real uh, sense of occasion up there in Newcastle, and I just find it fascinating how all of a sudden, to Crawls' point, the Knights are here six weeks ago. Honestly, Adam O'Brien is packing up his desk. We had him gone. <laughs> <laughs> we, we but he, kn gone. he knew. He knew the drums yeah. were beating. He knew the club <laughs> they were, looking we, were searching coaches. around behind his back. <laughs> There's Hasler. Yeah. Maguire, wasn't yeah, there a few? Yeah, Maguire, 100%. And the discussions were on. And, and, and I had loved Adam's attitude throughout that process. He fronted up and said... Uh, instead of hiding it behind cliched quotes, he, had, he admitted... Mm. He addressed it, didn't he? I'm he under the pump here, right? And, and to, to he's, he's galvanised that team, that dressing room, and they are playing uh, for each other. Kalen Ponga's influences have yeah. been undeniable. Yeah. S standing, sitting, outside, sitting out origin mm. has been huge. Confidence is king, and you can see that with their performances. Getting better with every week, Brad and Best comes back to into the fold, and they'll need their best to beat South. They've got to be motivated. South... Uh, they're copying it from everyone at the moment. They're, they're just not living up to the, mm. to the hype and the expectation. If they, if they do lose this game, the Bunnies, it sets up for a, a big round 27 clash against the Roosters. So they, they've got it. This is a pretty important <laughs> game in the context of the season for them for a lot of reasons, isn't it? Yeah, well, they, they've got the bye coming up. But the, the two games, you would, you would expect they almost have to win yeah. all three. And, and I think... From a South Sydney perspective, when, when we started the season, if they weren't the Premiership favourites, they were definitely a team that you considered one of the genuine Premiership contenders. And I think it's a really missed opportunity, the fact that now they've got basically no chance of finishing top four. Mm. And to win, to win the competition from outside the top four, history says it's just about impossible. It's crazy, but you'd love to see Luttrell or Cody Walker to say that we're coming. Mm. And just watch the blokes follow them because they're going to go there. It's a it's a tough place to win. I remember going there. It's one of the toughest grounds to win at. You'd go there and there's bruises everywhere. But just let Newcastle know that we're going to come through the front door mm. and go mm. and grab their points. Go there to spoil their party. It's a sellout crowd. Mate, you'd be up on it. You would treat it like a semi-final. You'd probably go there a couple of days early and get there and try to get the troops together. Well, well if anyone loves an occasion, it's Latrell Mitchell. And this is the footy club Newcastle Knights that overlooked him as a mm. junior. Mm. They let him go. Didn't think he had much talent. So if Latrell's going to make a statement, it's going to be this week against mm. a club that overlooked him. <laughs> uh, Is that guy still there? Sorry, yeah. I, I didn't want to giggle the guy that said he had no talent. 
Is he still working <laughs> yeah. up to the nights? He's in the top job there. Apparently. Well, I mean, my, my only concern, guys, for the, the, for the bunnies is the actual buy. Mm. This is a side that's completing at 60%. They're mm. not anywhere near their mojo. Anything. They're nowhere near it. So if they go and get the job done against Newcastle, yeah. do you think JD really wants a buy dropped in there just when they're fi finding their feet again? Mm. Like, I'm, one, I'm really interested to see what they actually do with that buy week because it'll want to be some hot elite training because they'll want to keep the confidence and momentum going. Yeah, their completion rate uh, and handling errors and just errors in general has been their Achilles heel for a number of years. If they control the footy with the attack that they've got, they, they usually win the game. And mm. It is as simple as that for them, but they're just not even close. But if they do control it, they're a big chance. Now, Jackson Hastings with that hip drop. Uh, Preston last week looked very bad, went off the field, but he's been named. Yeah. So is he all good to go? So what I understand, guys, is he's, they're going to give him up until Friday. Uh, he, he, at this point in time, being Tuesday night, it's a, he, he's a 50-50 chance mm. of uh, being part of this uh, game on the weekend. As I said, they'll give him until Friday. It's a, there was some scar tissue of a previous ankle injury that, that was basically protected, the fact that there were, uh, it, it would be a new injury. It was a hip uh, drop that did it to him last year. Yeah, Same that's league. right. So, it look, it, it, it's much more positive news than what was first feared. And first fears was that his season was over. Yeah.